There we go. Shows Abs here from the Finesse Angler. Today I've decided to come out here on Brisbane waters. The main objective for today is just to have a look around, do some exploring, see what I can find and what sort of structure I can fish. Stay tuned to the very end because you don't want to miss this one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and let's go and get some fish. I think we're going to just try some boats now. A few hours for the low tide. So I'm just going to pretty much focus on some plastics for now, if that doesn't work, might try a uh, crankbait, roll it up against the, the hulls, and for now, let's just get this Flick 295 towards the nose of the boat, I just want to get it hard up, that's what I want to do, yeah. okay, good. Here we go. That worked. Why are you swimming so weird? Oh, there's some more brim swimming around it. Cool. So that's a Flick 295 doing some damage. Fish wanted it bad enough. Hooked it in the side. All right, now that we have found one on a boat hole, I think our focus today will be the boat holes. So we're just coming up to this pirate ship here. I don't want to get too close, man. It's a spooky boat. Hey, look at what um, is on the boat. That's a spooky boat, isn't it? Bit of a pirate ship going there. All right, we've got a bit of a breeze that's picked up now. get too close so we'll just cast it right hard up to the hull with a flick 295 would you rather a plastic or would you rather a crankbait on a boat hull let me know in the comments below. Originally, I really just stuck with um, crankbaits, but I've been watching a couple of videos of some people using some plastics and they've been smashing it, so. This boat's holding nothing. There we go. Oh, wow. That was a good one. Got me good. Got me good. better 
try there, we'll try the front. Oh, that got hit. It's getting hit. Check out the rod tip. Look, they're smashing it. I'm gonna let it sink back down. I'm gonna try again. There we go. Oh. I don't think it's big. <laughs> no, it's not big. It's a little pinky. Little pinky. Didn't expect that. Oh, look at the pink on its head. The vibrant blue spots greeny bluey spots and then you got that blue right through the tail that's a beautiful fish no Oh, that's a little squid chasing it. That's cute. Look at that. Wow, that's the smallest squid I've ever seen in my life. Check that out. How cute is that? Here we go. Just a small one again. On the stick minnow, 38 mil sinking stick minnow from adamfishing.com.au. Giving it a try today. Okay. So that's the stick minnow there. Nice profile to it. Cool. So we're really gonna just try to pick apart these boats, try to work them out. Here we go. There we go. What are you rubbing on? Okay. Good. All right, so the boat holes are proving to be where the fish are at. Excellent. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Slowly getting bigger. 
This one was on the Flick 295 in the red herring. Daiwa rolling crank in the brown Suji. Exact same lure I was using last week. Let's try cranking some boats with it and see if we can get a brim. Just want to try to get in a good position here. Well, that's an excellent position here. No, that didn't work. There we go. Finally a half decent fish. Good. Gonna very slowly crank it underneath the boat. There we go. I think that's a good one. Not huge, but good one for sure. Great stuff, mate. Great stuff. Come on, Knickerbocker. What's the name of this boat? Here we go. Good stuff. We're getting them on the boat holes. to get too close. I am way too close. I can see him. That brim just spotted me. There we go. I'm on. Yep, pulled hooks. All right, well, we're just sorting out the camera and the microphone. I had a fish already on this um, boat here and I pulled out a 37 tipper. And yeah, of course, I was not recording, so <laughs> you guys aren't going to see that one, but oh well. We'll see if we can get another one. That was about 10 minutes ago, so I don't know if 
maybe the fish would have settled down around here. If they have settled, then that's good. If they haven't, we'll just move on to the next structure. So I do remember with that 37 tipper that I did let it sink a little bit. Check that out. Oh my god, that was a good one. Definitely a good one. Let's go under this dock. Shouldn't have striked. What's going on? Is the brim there? Well, luckily he swam out. All right, this one's taking me for a ride. This one's taking me for a good ride. Let's back off a bit on this one. Okay, yep, that's a better fish, that's a much better fish, good. Check that out, that's a beautiful looking fish. How nice is that? That's 36 to the tip. This one's a lot more solid than the previous 37 I caught. Um, I weighed this one in, 750 grams, so yeah, pretty solid. I'm happy with that. This one's on the cranker crab. Now this boat looks fishy. The investigator. Looks fishy as. Yep, there we go. Ready? Come on, fish.
Here we go. Well, no, I'm in a real sticky situation here. I've got to open that bail arm and go around. Come on. Oh, go. Come on. And Tommy went around the rope. Yeah, he has. What am I gonna do? No. Um. I might be able to get under there. No, that's not gonna work. Um. Think, man, think. Think. Under the rope or over? I can't tell. This is tough. I might just have to break it off. How are we going to get this one out? Fish one. The fish one. Well, that brings us to the end of our session. Just a bit of a recap on today's session. We came out here on Brisbane waters just to test it out. So we came out here and we tried a couple different things. We tried some boat holes and we tried some pontoons. And we actually didn't do too bad. I think I got dusted more than what I landed. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how we did. I did land the 37 that I didn't get to record because my microphone was on charge so I didn't really bother turning on the camera but we got a 36 right after that which was good and how about that fish that took me underneath that pontoon I just I didn't know what to do I didn't know what to do I'll put myself into a into a bit of a situation what would you do in that situation if that happened to you what would you do See, I tried opening the bail arm to just let it swim freely and it must have got me inside some weed or around the pole or something but got me good oh well we went out we had fun that's the end of our session for today thanks for watching if you guys did enjoy this content please subscribe like and leave a comment down below i'll see you guys next time